Hello! Welcome to your cooking fun with Anshika. Let's start cooking! So it is Diwali in 5 days and are you ready with some amazing sweet recipes to offer Lord Ganesha and your family? If the answer is no, worry not. I have come with this amazing rubbery recipe that is super easy, takes only 15 minutes and nobody can guess it is homemade. It tastes as good as rubbery from a halwai shop. Let's quickly look into the ingredients. I've got about 240 grams of ricotta cheese. Those who don't have access to ricotta cheese can use chena instead. You can use milk, curdle it to get chena. Okay. And then we have about 70 grams of milk powder, about 180 ml of whole milk, 50 grams sugar, one big tablespoon of deshi ghee or clarified butter and I will flavor my rubbery with cardamom pods which are two in number here and about seven to eight kesar or saffron threads. Right, so let's get cooking. So I've put my skillet on heat and I will add my one tablespoon of clarified bread butter or deshi ghee to it. To this I'm going to add my ricotta. So as my ghee is melting, I am going to add ricotta. And give this all a quick mix. Like I said, if you don't have ricotta, then you can use chena. Just add whole milk, liche, boil it, and just like we make paneer, it will make chena. Banta hai. Add something acidic to the milk, be it lemon or vinegar. But the difference is that we have not to add more milk in the milk, so that it will be firm on the You just have to stop it from heating as soon as the milk starts to curdle. Baki wo dood apni hi garmi mein, it will curdle well and then you can take out chena and it is very close to ricotta. So I'm going to mix my ricotta really well with the ghee and uh, heat ko medium pe karke, we are going to just saute this for about 3 to 4 minutes for all the moisture to evaporate. Constantly, इसे चलाते रहेंगे. Please keep stirring it for about three to four minutes till all the water evaporates. So now you can see my ricotta. The quantity has reduced a bit. काफी इसमें से evaporate हो चुका है moisture and now is the time to add my milk powder. So this is about 70 grams of milk powder. If you don't have a measuring scale, I have used a normal cup. This is a 100 ml cup and it was about one and a half cups of this. And if you have milk powder, then you can use evaporated milk in place of this. Uh, a lot of people also use condensed milk, but uh, I'm not really keen on condensed milk because then if you add more condensed milk, your rubbery gets way too sweet so I would prefer using evaporated milk and then adding sugar but if you add milk powder with ghee and then milk this tastes like the end result is very close to the rubbery that you get from a halwai like honestly you'll be like amazed with the result the taste and you would wonder why was I buying rubbery from a halwai and people who are living outside India, they're like, oh, why were we missing having rubbery all these years when it's so simple to make? So now all my milk powder is nicely mixed with the ricotta and the ghee. And it is time to add my milk. This is again about 180 ml of milk. I'm using whole milk here. And again, if you don't have a weighing scale, it was two cups of the normal measuring cup. Give this all a quick mix. So 
all this while my heat was medium just gently going to scrape everything from the edges and mix it in the milk now milk is something I mean I am using about 180 ml you can do like add another 20 to 30 ml if you want your rubby to be a bit more liquid and also with this once you put it to chill in the fridge its consistency is gada ho jata hai. so yeah, you can adjust your milk quantity based upon your liking but I feel 180 to 200 ml is apt for this now my milk is all nicely mixed don't see any such lumps here and I'm going to add my queso threads I'm adding about seven to eight queso threads here and there's no need to like soak your queso in milk before because we are going to boil this mixture and then this will sit in the fridge for a couple of hours too so now it's time to add my cardamom I have crushed my cardamom using mortar and pestle and I'm adding two cardamoms here do not add more than two because otherwise cardamom is going to take over the flavor of kesar and we want the flavor of cardamom and kesar to blend together and not like one flavor taking over the other mix it well and now it's time to add your sugar I'm adding half a cup of sugar this is about 50 grams again if you like your sweet to be more sweet you can always add more sugar to it but for this ratio 50 grams work really well give this all a quick mix and now we will just let it boil for about a couple of minutes and our rubbery is done sugar you will feel your mixture has gone a bit more liquid so we just need to give it a good boil for about like two minutes keep your heat medium otherwise it's say what bubbles and you might just get hurt so it's just been a couple of minutes and now my sugar is nicely dissolved into the rubbery you can see the consistency it is this liquid it is going to thicken so what I am going to do is just cover it and let it sit for a couple of hours now if you want to have it at room temperature you can just leave it at your kitchen top otherwise you can put it into fridge I feel it tastes best when it is chilled so I will chill this and then show you the consistency and then we will plate it as well with some dry fruits so it's been about one and a half hours and let's check on our rubbery. So as you can see it has already thickened and you can see these orange color coming here which is clear indication our kesar has infused well. I'll give it all a quick mix and I've still not put it into the fridge. So you can see how nicely thickened our rubbery is now from the consistency it was what I showed you before. Yeah, now it's time to plate it. To garnish my rabdi with some pistachios and a couple of rose petals. Look at that, our lovely rabdi is ready. So, a very happy Diwali, guys. I really hope you all have a happy and prosperous Diwali. I know this would be a little different where we can't meet our friends and family so much, but. Um, Let's all of us pray together to come out of this pandemic now at the earliest. Happy Diwali, enjoy and stay safe. Bye-bye.